Okay, welcome back. So it's week 10 and this week we've been focusing on jobs, CVs, um, interviews, we LinkedIn profile. It's Tuesday afternoon, going to be get some lunch and uh, it's been really insightful. We've got Kim who's came in, who's came on board with Code Plan within the last month and uh, she's basically the person, the go-to person for helping us get job ready. So making sure that we're even our LinkedIn profile photos are on point, making sure all the information that we've got on our LinkedIn is on point, making sure our CVs are, are obviously standing out from all the competitors, and making sure we're asking the right questions at interviews, and making sure that when we're being asked questions at interviews, we're giving the right answers and giving context there. So we're going to get some lunch now, and we'll see how the, the afternoon shapes out. If I don't check in with you at the end of the day, I'll check in with you at some point through the week. Okay, so we had Mike Ritchie in this afternoon giving him a talk on interviews and just more of an in-depth uh, talk about the industry, what kind of things that the interviews will be asking, um, how to tackle these problems, even looking at coding tests and just more about the, the industry as a whole. So Mike, he's uh, he's been in the industry for like 30 years, um, he knows a lot, he's got his own company, uh, he's a he's a tech coach. I'll put his information down below. Um, really knowledgeable guy, and it was really insightful to hear somebody that's obviously got so much experience in the industry, even sitting on the both sides of the the table in an interview, going for obviously a lot of jobs in his career, but also hiring a lot of people in his career. So yeah, don't know what the the rest of the week is going to be. I think we're going to be doing some computer science stuff, and then. On Thursday and Friday, it's just a mystery to me. So we'll see how the week pans out, and I'll just keep keep you up to date for your regular updates. Cheers. Okay, good afternoon. It's lunchtime on Wednesday, and this morning we've been doing some computer science stuff. We went over threads, we went over a lot of algorithm stuff, we went over the big O notation, but we've been lit away. The afternoons is going to be a relaxing afternoon, doing what we want to do, maybe working on our CV, looking at jobs, and just obviously having a relaxing afternoon. So, going to spend the afternoon being quite productive. Going to find a coffee shop, sit down, work on some of these videos, uh, look at some jobs that are available, and then yeah, just try maybe sometimes get some B-roll shots and a couple of time lapses for these videos. So I don't know what's happening tomorrow or Friday, but I'm sure I'll check in with you at some point. Okay, okay, so it's Thursday morning, we're at Code Plan. We've just been given a task to split up into teams and start researching all the various different kinds of algorithms that are available out there. So, we were tasked to choose between bubble sort, cocktail shaker sort, quick sort, odd even sort, merge sort, assertion sort, bucket sort, interpolation sort, interpolation search, jump search, and Fibonacci search. So within the wee group, the wee team that we're in, we went for the quick sort. So we're doing a wee bit of research on that, we'll see how we're getting on. So in the team, it's myself, it's Mark, Joe, and then there's Giuseppe and Graham. 
uh, and together we're all finding different sites, different articles, maybe different videos on YouTube, and maybe just different um, examples of when a Quixel algorithm would be used. So we're looking at different various um, scenarios. You found a good one, did you, Mark? Yeah, it's got lots of interactive demonstrations. Show how it works step by step. Yeah, it's definitely better to look at something like that than just a full block of text. Yeah. Yeah, so that's that's what we're doing at the moment. Um, I think all the other the teams within the class are looking at different different algorithms and then we're going to join back up at the end of this wee lab session and talk about it to the rest of the class what we found. Okay, okay, that's another productive day in the bag. The, this whole week's been really different. It just feels like we're on a completely different course this week. The, the, data, the data structures we've been learning this afternoon and the algorithm stuff that we're learning this morning, it's been really useful. I mean, maybe not um, as relevant to coding when we're a junior software developer or even just starting out in the industry, but obviously learning these kind of things gives you a greater appreciation and understanding of computer science as a whole. And it could even just open up the, the whole dialogue thing for when we're talking to somebody in an interview. So yeah, it's been great. I think tomorrow we're going to be just touching on um, the interview things again, the CV things again, and maybe going over some PDA stuff, which is the, the Personal Development Award. So I'll check in again tomorrow and wrap up this video for week 10. See ya. Good morning, and welcome to the end of week 10. It's Friday morning, heading to Code Clan now. So, this week we've been going over our CVs, we've been doing our LinkedIn profiles, we've been doing computer science, going over data structures and algorithms. So, today, don't know what the plan is, I think we're still going to be going over CVs and that again. But I know I keep chucking in loads of B roll clips of me getting on this bus, so I'll do a quick transition and I'll pull you back out if there's anything interesting going on. If I don't, don't do that much of the day, I'll sign back in at the end of the day to sign off for the video. Right, quick transition, go. Okay, dokie, so it's lunchtime on Friday. We've been lit away, that's just done for the day. And um, we've got an hour and a half to two hour talk on Python. Now obviously Python's one of the languages in the industry that is taken off big time. And uh, because we've already learned Ruby, well, we're going over, over the, the different syntax differences and uh, maybe just how um, methods are written and how tests are done within Python uh, compared to Ruby. So that obviously, if we want to use Python in future for um, maybe our, our final projects or we get asked any questions about Python at interviews of that, we'll obviously know what we're talking about. So one of the things that I've never discussed and uh, what a lot of people don't know if they've never been to Edinburgh or they've never been to Code Clan, is this building right behind me here, we've got Code Clan on that side, but behind me here we've got Codebase. Now Codebase is home to I think it's around wait a minute, that sun's blinding me. Codebase are home to about 80 different tech companies within Scotland. They all range from uh, startups to, to medium-sized tech companies. Um, it'd be probably too long to go over the whole list of the 80 of them, but obviously I'll drop a link to, to Codebase's website down below. And uh, what that means is for networking in the industry and for obviously talking to people um, in similar jobs to what we're going to be looking for at the end of this course, it's great. Um, there's a few of the employer partners for Code Clan at Codebase and some of them obviously come in every Friday to give us a talk on what they do and some of the, the guys that have maybe previously been at Code Clan and moved over to some of these companies, they come along with them 
discuss um, the transition from what they've experienced going from Code Clan as a student, as a, a, a trainee software developer, into one of the roles within the, the companies at Codebase. So it's really insightful to be aware what are. Edinburgh is obviously one of the biggest uh, tech hubs in Scotland, and rightly so. So um, that's another wee insight for you, for anybody that's obviously looking to come to the Code Clan and to know that that's on their doorstep. So never got too much done today. Uh, we we'll start on JavaScript on Monday for week 11. Really looking forward to that. Whole new, whole new uh, opportunities there. So we'll just check in next week and see how we're getting on. Thanks again for sticking around, watching my wee updates for my road to code. We'll see you next week. See ya.